So, oh, this looks fun. They all mine. Mine! Mine! They're mine. I am Stanley Obende. Uh, other people know me as The Stanch. Uh, I'm a comic artist, basically. But generally, that's what I do. I do comic art. I also do storyboard. I do concept art. But majorly, what I do is comic art. And I've been doing this for a while now, for like how long? Seven years or thereabout. Uh, I've only made it. Uh, a mythical fantasy genre which does with uh there is mad it's it's basically african it's generally african and we africans we do a lot of magic and juju but it's about that and also spirituality too so it's mixing both magic spirituality and all those factors that surround it together into it so it's about and we are telling this through the eye of Avonome, a girl who died 70 80 years ago and she's back right now with she died then and she's back right now with no idea of who she was or what she's actually doing here right now so right now she's picking out some uh, pieces of the puzzle to try to find out who she really is and uh, what her powers entails because she has the ability to see spirits, can teleport and she has these two guides which one is similarly an angel until we get to know who he really is and a ship, a ship shifter which is Nabek who is also in, who is in, actually a mythical being but we get to see we get to tell more about those two characters much more later in the book itself as at now we are doing uh 13 and above yeah okay as for now it's actually free online you can go to www.thecomicrepublic.com there you get you actually see Avon Omer with other, other comic titles which is under the Comic Republic label. Yes, we are working on it. We're working on it. Actually, it's very difficult to do printing because it's quite expensive printing. Uh, but uh, due to popular demands, we are going to get it across to people. Yes. I work with Xavier Igoroje, Mr. Xavier Igoroje. Uh, he writes, actually we, we actually discuss about the idea because when I created the character, my major issue was putting this into scripting. I needed someone who was actually, who would actually tell the story the way I, that would make me feel compelled to want to buy the book or to read the book itself so when Xavier came into the picture I was like oh nice he actually he came to me and said he was very interested in it I was skeptical about it but when he came into it and I was and it was like we did some very very short stories on the loan I was like oh cool dude you have the job even it then from there it's been uh, more of a collaboration we sit down together we talk about the idea we talk about we talked about how it's going to be for like the next 50 episodes then we begin to break it down into um into the into each series into each book at first we wanted to go like 20 pages but we're like no 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 this is we're just starting off with this let's just uh put in a bit and let us see the market reaction and so we did that and we decided to increase the pages as time goes on and hopefully we tend to do increase the pages as because as a then when we started it was about 10 pages but now it's about 20 then we, before we now make it into a standard comic book which is about 22 pages or there are 22 or 24 pages and then um, hopefully over time we we'll definitely churn out a graphic novel sometime sometime in the next future 
my drawing process, I first of all I create thumbnails in my head, and uh, and sometimes I draw I draw them out just to know how the poses are going to look like. Then I do light sketches before I drop in my lines, and I move. Sometimes I do have a colorist, uh, Balox. Sometimes he helps me do the colors. Sometimes when it's not available, I do the colors myself, and. Before I used to go all traditional, that's with pencil on paper, but now I do digital. But digital is a quicker and faster way to make things done when you actually need things to get off the table quickly. To do a page, okay. When I started, actually it took me like two days to finish a page, but now three, four hours. Well, it depends on the detail. If there's actually too much details, it can take me as long as six hours. That's from pencil to ink. Yes. No, since I'm doing it digitally, I just do sketches and then ink on it. Yeah. I would say Avonome was quite challenging for me because it took me about eight years to put it into into uh, print or digital copy to actually come up with the first one because when i met xavier we did about we did some actually eating uh, sketches I don't, we don't want anyone to see because those words were very horrible and we did about we did about three to four books which we just looked at and like okay let's just scrap this and we do it again so i found man was uh, with C was quite challenging for me. Uh, Mother's Black is, uh, I would say it's, well, it's a small establishment I and Xavier uh, came up with because we need to print, because uh, when we came up with Avon we actually need to print it under a name, not Xavier and Stanley Productions. We need to print another name, so we came up with the name Mother's Black, and uh, that is the name we wanted to print it until uh, Comic Republic came to us and like, okay, let's just get this thing printed for you. And I was like, all right, cool. So, uh, so we just made it like a partnership deal. They get to print and distribute for us, while Mother's Black get to produce the comic book. As at now, I now I now do it full time. Oh, you quit your regular job? Yeah. Uh, actually, it's been fun. It's been fun. I, I usually I would say it's tasky, but it's been fun. it's been taskily fun. Is there a word like that ever? Okay. <laughs> but I'm an artist. I can do whatever I want. It's my word. Okay, it's been fun, it's been vasky, it's been fun because it's actually what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to tell stories. I've always wanted to tell stories through comic books and it's actually a very good, it's actually a, a great opportunity and a good thing that I'm actually doing what I wanted to do all along. And it's a very good feeling. It's been tasky because, yeah, trying, you know, trying to get uh try to do a comic book to you know try to make a comic book takes a while it's not like something you can snap your fingers and get it done usually it can take a month or two and yes but it, by the should i call god by the special grace of god we are actually getting this done i mean i'm a freelancer i'm on go for hire Sorry, pencil for I. Uh, you can contact me through my mail, billingstan2k at gmail.com. Okay, uh, you can reach me on my Facebook page, uh, Stanley Stanch or Bende. And I'm not really a Twitter person. Uh, when you get to my Facebook page, you get my number. You can reach me on WhatsApp. Uh, anything else you want to say? Boo shakala!